I'd like to call this meeting um, of the January 2nd, 7 p.m. full city council meeting. Uh, the clerk will call the roll to record attendance. Anderson Burgos? Here. Hartley? Oh, your mic is not on. Mine's not? It, oh, no. oh, sorry. Maybe I just was too far away. Hartley? Gibner? Here. Jordan? Maldonado Velez. Oh, Jesus. Wrong, <laughs> wrong list. Yeah. Wrong list. There, she'll probably do that. I printed new ones today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Start over. Anderson Burgos? This is what Here. I'm Bartley? This is what I was talking about. Divine? Here. Gibner? Here. Graney? Here. Jordan? Still here. McGrath Smith? Here. Murphy Rumbaletti? Here. Ocasio? Here. Israel Rivera? Here. Jenny Rivera? Here. S Sullivan? Here. Bacon? Here. Please stand Who's for the Pledge of Allegiance. <sighs> this is the I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Jeffrey wanted me to mention that, um, unfortunately, tonight there is not going to be live translation available um, because of a scheduling misunderstanding. Um, it will be translated at a later date and made available soon, correct? Um, so with that, is there a motion to accept the rules and orders of the city council? So moved. So moved. Councilor Bacon? Well, I'll second that motion, and then I would just like to offer another motion after, if I could. Sure, absolutely. Oh, yeah, John name. Uh, just a point of order, Madam President. Yes, Councilor. Uh, wh why am I sitting here? What, why, how, why, why did my seat get moved? Counselor, I said this a few minutes ago. Um, as the city council president, I made the decision to um, change things up. And in the spirit of trying to um, make things a bit more uh, efficient and collaborative, I decided to go with something different. And there were a few people that reached out to me directly about where they wanted to sit. And for those folks, I, I honored those um, requests. Um, and then for, uh, for those otherwise, um, this is the decision that I'm making. And um, so without any input? I'll, have, I'll gladly take input. Um, I'll just go right back to where I was at the next meeting. I, I was very happy the way it was set up this morning. Um, I think I mean, I'm not, I'll speak for myself. I won't speak for anybody else, but I was very happy where I was, where I've been the last uh, 12 years. Okay. Just very happy right there. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Councilor Jordan. Yeah. First of all, I believe I had, uh, and Jeffrey, you can back me up on this, but I believe I spoke and put in my uh, seating request. Did I not, Jeff? But so when, 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 uh, when you said that, I, I thought you intended that to be for the New York meeting, knowing that. What? That, that, that was my impression that you meant that for the reorg meeting because I knew no. that it would be her role to seat once. Okay, now you're, yeah, I don't know how you would get that impression when clearly I said this is what we, uh, I had mentioned, I had, uh, had reached out for a couple people on their behalf so that certain accommodations could be made for certain people in terms of seating. Sure. Um, as far as the longstanding, I mean, again, this is incredible. How is it that if anything, it should be based on seniority if we're going to do any of that. I come in, I had asked to maintain my seat, and call Todd McGee, call Joe McGivern, don't take my word for it. Uh, certainly when I was president, everybody that had a seat gets that seat unless they ask to be moved or okay and bless their move, okay? And you've only been president for I don't know how many hours, 
I wouldn't have even thought to call you to even think this was an issue. So to, this whole notion to quote unquote reach out to you about where I would want to sit, how would I even know to reach out to you when I would even think that you would even contemplate such a decision, let alone to even know to reach out? If you had said, oh, hey, everybody, it's a jump ball, and I'm going to throw, put people all over in the different seats, and please uh, let me know where you would like to see, we're going to do musical chairs, okay. then, then, then I would have done that. But, okay. So I was also told that I needed to make a decision today. So By I, who? Who told I, you? You're well, the boss. Well, oh, uh, so thank you for affirming that I am the boss, but um, I also... You know, to be honest, we're, we have a motion that has been made and seconded um, on the rules, and I'm happy we can, we can discuss this over and over. Um, I, I, I am planning. I, honestly, I just feel like this is something that people need to try to embrace. We have everyone talked today about unity, and I just feel like this is what we, what we need to try to embrace, is to not sit next to the same people that we always sit next to. I, I split up everyone in an attempt to get people to actually try to work together. So I'm gonna stand by this decision. And Councilor Vacan, do you have your hand up? Did I notice that? I did, but um, if we move on the other motion, my comment relates to that as well. Okay. I, I won't go ahead, Councilor Anderson. Are we I on the motion I, for the oh. rules now? Yeah, we're on the motion for the rules. So Under discussion. OK, thank you. So I would just note that under our current rules relevant to the discussion that we're now having, un, under the first order of business, section D, it says, the seats of the city council shall be numbered, and no member shall change their seat but by permission of the president. So it sort of implies it would stay the same unless the member requested a change. OK, Just well, FYI. Yeah, we can file an order and clarify that rule and, okay. and you know, make that an official rule. Again, it goes, to, if I may, but I, I, did you want to speak? Yes, I do. I actually do want to say something, but I want to be careful because I'm, I'm going into 2024 with this new arrangement with a positive mindset. I, I, I for one, don't like change. When I'm, a, when I'm comfortable in a seat, I've been there uh, over six years, and I was very comfortable there when I found out I was here. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was very, very bothered. But then I said, there's a reasoning for it. Let's just give the new president some time, and let's give each other some time to adjust to these changes, because I really believe that this is in the greater good, in the scheme of greater good things. Um, so that's, that's just what I wanted to say. I, I want to step on the right foot with this crew. Thank you. Counselor. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> but if we're going to have these type of changes, they have to be discussed with people. Okay. Simple phone call and said, okay. hey, Kevin, this is what I'm thinking about. I would, I would have had no no to call you. Okay. Okay, so I, get you, I think you understand that point. I do. We should revisit this decision. Sure. And I would appreciate um, not just that's your chair and, and, and shut up. Sure. Um, cause, and I don't know if you mean it that way. I don't. Uh, I appreciate that. But I just feel we can avoid a lot of this type of unnecessary tension just by being out in front of it together. And then this way, I just walk in, I go to sit down on my desk, and it's Jenny's Totally understand. Desk. Okay. I think I made my point. We'll, we'll, we'll pick this up at another date. Thank Sounds you. good. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Counselor Israel Rivera and then Counselor Jenny Rivera. Um, I guess for me, is um, I didn't want to move either when I got a sign, um, but I get the overall go and the intention behind what we're doing. Um, it's a new two years. There are a lot of new faces for me. Not new per se, whether or not I know them, but new as a colleague in a sense. And I guess I'm going into this new term with a uh, you know, uh, positive, not the copy of what Councilor Anderson Burgos said, but a 
try to get into it with like a positive outlook and a positive um, mind frame. Um, so I would say on the motion. Okay. Are you, you wanted to say something now? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Thank you, Madam Chair. And once again, congratulations. Thank you. This is your decision. I don't think moving our seats will make us think any different, make any decisions different, do any research different. If this is what you want, this is what we have to accept because you were voted in as our president. On the motion, um, under discussion related to item number one, vote on the city council rules. Motion to adopt. Second. Second. Uh, Councilor Devine. For sure. So a uh, motion to accept the rules and send a copy of the rules Second. to Charter and Rules. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Um, so, Madam President. Yes. So the motion I wanted to make was to allow Mrs. Greeny to remain in chambers during city council meetings with Councilor Greeny. Second. All right, Second. under discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. <laughs> I'll eat your wife. <laughs> um, okay, so item number two. Um, is there a motion for for item number two? I'll make a motion to send it back to Charter and Rules. Second. I agree. Okay. Um, under discussion? Well, I'll make a motion that we take it off the table for the purposes of sending it back to charters and rules. Okay, so second, um, second uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved, so that's going back to charter and rules. Um, public comment. Do we have anyone? So we do have one person signed up in council chambers, and it looks like we also have someone on Zoom. Um, so just for everyone listening, as a reminder, just state your name and your address um, for the record, and you'll have a minute and 30 seconds. So when you get to about a minute, I'm gonna just say you're at a minute. Okay. And, and then um, I'll let you know when the minute and 30 is. is All right. Okay. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is uh, Betty Siebels Gatewood, and I want this committee to know it's been 40 years since I've been before this council. I, I only see a few people around that's in my age group, but I am a lifelong uh, citizen of Holyoke. I went to school here. I graduated here, and I am proud to say that I was the first black girl in City Hall. Actually, uh, I have owned several businesses in Holyoke, and the last time I was before this committee, I was here to ask the committee to back me for funding for the black community for a breakfast program that I started. And I would One like minute. to... One minute. You're good. Keep going. Should I continue? Yes. Okay. I would like to see this committee to stand behind me to allocate funding for our community. It's been a long time I sat back and watched other ethnic groups uh, prosper in the city and nothing for my community. And I'm asking this committee, I see a few people around that's in my age group that was around when I was around. I own the Colony Restaurant here in Holyoke and the Pioneer Beauty Nook on Main Street. So it was very hard for me to keep that program going and continue with my businesses. So at this time, I'm going to ask the committee to stand behind me and uh, help me to ask for funding for the community. Thank you um, for that time. I did speak to uh, Mayor Alex Moore some that's, years. That's at a minute and 30. I'm done? Yes. <laughs> it goes by quick. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Moore. 
Councillor. Can I make up uh, just suspend the rules for a second? Be allowed to speak to their to the sister chair. Motion to suspend the rules. Second. Yeah, Betty, I went to the colony a million times. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. so what, what what street do you live on? What, what's which street do you live on? Farnham Drive, 15 Farnham Drive. Okay, so uh, I will. Uh, what we'll do is after this meeting, I'll put you in touch with uh, Councillor Bacon, who is a Ward Five counselor, uh, letting, sitting over there, and then she and I will will have a chat with you at some point. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And online we have Spencer Fox Peterson. Turn this off. Hi. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Uh, Spencer Fox Peterson, 51 Portland Street. Um, just uh, wanted to reach out to the city and say, you know, looking forward to a prog uh, productive session this uh, next term. Uh, I would like to set the agenda, at least from a constituent's point of view. Uh, we really need to rein in our spending on policing and spending on other things like feeding and housing folk. Um, cages don't solve this problem. That's always going to be my mantra. And I look forward to, to paying attention to what's going on in council this uh, term. And hopefully we can get uh, a little less dysfunctional um, and, you know, figure out your seating, I guess. Good luck. Thank you. And that's it, right? Okay. Moving on. Um, item number three. A uh, motion to uh, receive and adopt. Motion to receive and adopt. These are the minutes. Um, Anybody want to second that or is that? Second. Hard. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> These are the minutes from December 5th, 14th, and 19th meetings. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, discussion real quick? Yeah. Uh, I have to say again, I thought they were excellent. So, Always. So I, I, I say that probably once a term. So that's it, Jeff. Good job, Jeff. Um, all right, moving forward. Speaking of Jeff, item number four, a list of city council appointments for 2024. Madam President, do we have those on our desk? Should be. Should, yeah. We do? Looks like this. Number four. So this item has uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, and these are reappointments, correct? They're all reappointments. So I'll read read them into the record. Um, administrative assistant to the city council, Jeffrey Anderson Burgos, 236 Locust Street. A two-year term expires in January 2026. Roll, roll first ballot. All right. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, we do this in alphabetical order. Well, we we, get, we got a. I think usually we not. Well, we can vote for whatever we want, right? So just you just want to remind everybody. Just you can. You need Jeff apply, but okay. And the roll call is in alphabetical order. Well, if I. Did, we, did, we pull the did name? you pull a name? We did pull a name. It it was Councillor Jordan. That's the order. Should be. Okay. Uh, the last time we had this discussion at right. at the member. Do you remember? No, you're right. But I've been arguing that it should yeah, be. we had an argument. Right, right the name folks. okay that was a made-up rule that, that was never even a rule. all right it was a, like an ad hoc thing. okay the clerk will call the roll um you so for those of you who are not familiar you're just going to say the name of the person that you would like um to nominate and uh they need seven votes um so i'll just go through jordan Mr. It's supposed to be alphabetical on these votes, but maybe that tradition's changed too. I don't. Know. I just oh. said that it was supposed I, to be. I I, just, I like rewatched the meeting from, and so I was gonna say do it in alphabetical order. So whatever the will of the body is, whatever the will of the body is. But we just stay with the tradition. I'm, All right. I'm so we'll do it in alphabetical order. Thank you. Thank you. Anderson Burgos. Abstain. Abstain. Bartley. Divine. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. Givner. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. Greeny. Mr. Burgos. Mr. Anderson Jordan. Burgos. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. McGrath Smith. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. 
Murphy Rambaletti. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. Acasio. Mr. Burgos. Izzy Rivera. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. Jenny Rivera. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. Sullivan. Jeffrey Anderson Burgos. Bacon. Mr. Burgos. Jeffrey Anderson Bur Burgos appointed on the first ballot. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, the next um, appointment, reappointment, is for the Community Preservation Committee. Go the first ballot. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, this is for Maribel Ortiz, 101 St. Colby Drive. It's a three-year term, which would expire in January 2027. The clerk will call the roll. Anderson Burgos. Maribel Ortiz. Bartley. Ortiz. Divine. Maribel Ortiz. Givner. Maribel Ortiz. Graney. Maribel Ortiz. Jordan. Maribel Ortiz. McGrath Smith. Maribel Ortiz. Murphy Romaletti. Maribel Ortiz. Ocasio. Um, I had a question on that. I don't know none of these people, so. Um. Well. <laughs> totally, totally understand. I also remember this from our meeting two years ago. Um, if if others want, I can. So, the typically the reappointments that are made um, are not usually sent to committee, the public service committee, unless a member asks for that to happen, um, and that's something we can we can vote on. Um, but usually if it's a reappointment it's under the impression that they've been vetted already through the public service committee um so councilor bartley it's a point of order just for the chair to well the ward two counselor absolutely uh, so a uh, couple things one is you can vote for whomever you want whether this person or no or or the man on the moon doesn't matter Se second off you can't abstain now that has happened before but our rules say you, you can't just walk out of the room and pretend the vote didn't happen so you need to vote for somebody. You can say Mickey Mouse, or you can say the, the person here, or, or not. Uh, third point, last point is, now that you know this happens, and we, I mean, you can tell other people to apply. I hope you do, because that's why you're here. So, what, gotta take the vote. Okay, well, okay. on the motion? Well, it's on the roll call. Oh, we were doing a roll call. Carmen. Yep. Carmen, sorry. Um, I guess I'll vote for Mary Bell Ortiz. I guess. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I mean, this is the first. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Okay. We were all there. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> Israel Rivera. Mary Bell Ortiz. Sullivan. Mary Bell Ortiz. Oh, I missed Jenny. Jenny you Rivera. missed me. Mary Bell Ortiz. Sullivan. Sorry. Mary Bell Ortiz. Bacon. Maribel Ortiz. Maribel Ortiz appointed on the first ballot. Okay, next is a uh, seat for Water Commission. No first ballot. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This is um, currently held by Timothy F. Keene, 52 Lexington Avenue. It is a three year term, um, and that would expire in January 2027. The clerk will call the roll. Anderson Burgos. Uh, Mr. Keene. Bartley. Tim Keene. Divine. Timothy Keene. Givner. Timothy Keene. Graney. Mr. Keene. Jordan. Keene. McGrath Smith. Timothy Keene. Murphy Rumbaletti. Timothy Keene. Casio. <laughs> Timothy Keene. <laughs> Israel Rivera. Mr. Keene. Jenny Rivera. Timothy Keene. Sullivan. Tim Keene. Bacon. Tim Keene. Tim Keene appointed on the first ballot. Thank you. Um, next is the Whiting Street Fund. Motion to go to the first ballot. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, this is for John Petrowski, uh, 28 North Bridge Street. Um, that's who currently holds the seat. This is a three-year term. Um, January 2027 is when it would expire. The clerk will call the roll. Anderson Burgos. Mr. Petrowski. Bartley. John Petrowski. Divine. John Petrakowski. Givner. John Petrakowski. Graney. Mr. Petrakowski. Jordan. Mr. Petrakowski. McGrath Smith. Mr. Petrakowski. Murphy Rumbaletti. Mr. Petrakowski. Casio. John, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got you. <laughs> Israel Rivera. Mr. Petrakowski. Jenny Rivera. John. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan. John. <coughs> Sullivan. John Petrakowski. Bacon. 
John Petrakowski. John Petrakowski appointed on the first ballot. Thank you. And the last one on the list, um, tax collector is uh, currently. Ballot. Oh, Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Laura Wilson, 20 Bray Park Drive. Um, it, this is this is a three-year term, and we were technically supposed to appoint her last year, reappoint her last year because she was filling out a term. So, just point of order. Yes. Yeah, so, ma'am, there, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. She was just a, a holdover. Okay. So it, it's great. Perfectly fine to have that happen. Um, just we'll just do better going forward. Okay? Yeah. So that's. I think that's small potatoes. Okay. That's great. my opinion. And this would expire January 2026. So the clerk will call the roll. Anderson Burgos? Laura Wilson. Hartley? Laura Wilson. Devine? Laura Wilson. Gibner? Laura Wilson. Rainey? Laura Wilson. Jordan? Laura Wilson. McGrath Smith? Laura Wilson. Murphy Rumbaletti? Laura Wilson. Casio? Laura Wilson. Israel Rivera? Laura Wilson. Jenny Rivera? Laura Wilson. Sullivan? Laura Wilson. Bacon? Laura Wilson. Laura Wilson appointed on the first ballot. Okay. Uh, Madam Chair, can we suspend the rules and take five and seven together, package them, Second. and ship them off to the joint committee? Motion Second. to take five and seven as a package, and it was seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, number five is from Anthony Soto, the superintendent of the Hoyo Public Schools, uh, letter regarding the petition, uh, petition the Mass Desi to release the city of Holyoke from state receivership. Um, and item number seven is from Jeffrey C. Riley, Commissioner of Elementary and Secondary Education, receipt of petition to end receivership. Um, Motion sent to the Joint Committee. Is there a second? second? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Point of order, Madam President. Yes. Have we got a response from the state yet at all? On it? We have four months, Howie. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If I may, Madam Chair. Councilor Rivera. I, I believe there's an email from the the guy that's in charge. I can't remember his name right now. Soto. That, um, not Soto. Okay. The, the guy charge, in charge of, okay. at the state level, um, that he'll be responding with an answer by February. I believe it was. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Um. All right. So item six. <clears throat> Can we have a motion to suspend the rules and take a final vote on this one tonight? Is there a second? Uh, I'll second that. Okay. Uh, motion to take um, to suspend the rules and take item six uh, to take final action um, under discussion. Yes, I'd like to know why. Under discussion. Uh, so, yeah, for sure. Discussion. Yeah. Councillor McGrath Smith. So this is a project that the CPA has been following through over the last two years. Um, and uh, Tom Shea has been doing yeoman's work on this project. And um, the goal of this project is to be done by April 2024. Um, yet the CPC has been asked to extend the funding by another $8,000 in order to complete the work. Um, this is highly specialized work. And they have actually been able to save a lot of uh, money around, uh, along the way. Uh, by doing even some of the work in-house, um, and yet they're at the point where they need to finish the project and they need this last f source of funding in order to make it occur. Uh, it's well within the budget of the CPA to provide the funding, and it got unanimous support at the last meeting, but due to the way that these things move, by the time that they brought it forward to us, we took it on as a committee, then moved it here. We're already eight weeks out, them waiting for an answer for this. I'd love to move it forward tonight. Just as a follow-up. Councillor Bacon. Do we have the money in front of us other than what was just stated? Do we have a written yes. recommendation already we in do. our packet? Yes. OK. Thank you. Councillor Jordan. It, it appears that item six kind of spells it out. It looks like it's an $8,000 change. So uh, to Councillor McGrath-Smith, we already approved the 13677 for the council, and it looks like in uh, the, the First paragraph of section two, it states to go from 13677 to 138677. So it's really an 8,000 change? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Councillor Bartley. No, I'm, I am going to support this because I did do the background research. I was here as part of the, the initial vote. Uh, I'm just gonna, only going to make a uh, two small points. One is I do prefer to go in regular order to have it go to finance. 
but since this is an exigent circumstance, uh, I think we can I think we can make an exception. Second point is that uh, you know CPA stuff has got to be thought out. I'm glad we have a CPA committee, but it's this committee that makes the decision, not the mayor's office. Okay, not the CPA committee. They just recommend. It's this body. So they do yeoman's work. I don't think we voted for no on many of them. I don't think I voted no on any of them. But the, the fact is, you're supposed to do our homework here and think it out a little bit. So that's why we go through regular order and finance and come back. But in this case, I feel very comfortable moving forward. Okay. Anyone else? Any further discussion? On the motion? Oh, wait. Um, Councilor Rivera? Oh. No, I was just going to say, uh, echo Councilor Bartley's sentiment with regards to, to this particular project. This project has been going on for a couple of years, and the CPA has, or CPC has been working on it continuously and keeping us up to date with any updates. Um, and it's a pretty awesome project that um, is going back to um, investing into one of our own trucks. So, um, yeah, I, I don't have no issue with taking this on right now. Okay. Seeing none. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Do I need to do a roll call vote for the, because it's financial? Because it's call. financial. Yeah, we'll take it out of order. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Jeffrey about that. The clerk will call the roll. Jordan. Yes. McGrath Smith. Yes. Murphy Rumbaletti. Yes. Ocasio. Yes. Israel Rivera. Yes. Jenny Rivera. Yes. Tom uh, Sullivan. Yes. Bacon. Yes. Anderson Burgos. Yes. Bartley. Yes. Divine. Yes. Givner. Yes. Graney. Yes. Unanimous vote. With that, you've approved the revised award. Um, item number eight from MassDOT, letter regarding Hoyoke Fair Share appointment for fiscal, or uh, I'm sorry, apportionment for fiscal year 2024. Uh, motion received and send a copy to finance. Is there a second? second. Under discussion. Under discussion. May I? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, so uh, th this is quite an unbelievable letter that the, I, I hope that the, because we, we always at this body have uh, strong feelings about chapter 90 and how we never get really more than a certain dollar amount, which is significant. Well, now that dollar amount is, is two and a half times on top of what we usually get for chapter 90, which is unbelievable. The open question really becomes is, uh, well, uh, <laughs> we, we need to get some sort of feedback from the Department of Public Works and the mayor's office relative to this. So what is the, what is the plan? I mean, it's $473,823. So, I mean, I have to say, while the, uh, the, the amendment was, was you know, and by the way, this body endorsed it. <laughs> we, had, we had a speaker here uh, before the election and this body endorsed it. Everybody, and it was unanimous. So. So I think everybody should, should take, a, take a bow for that. And this is, and really, to, you have to thank the governor um, in particular for, for coming up with this idea and the legislature, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, when you have a, normally we're used to $200,000 for Chapter 90, which is our streets and sidewalks and et cetera. But now, look at this, 473 and change. That is pretty significant. And, and A, the public should be aware of that. B, we need to hear from the mayor and the superintendent of public works because, I mean, they've had this now for, uh, for a month. So, I mean, what's the plan? So that's why I want it to go to finance and then hopefully they can come in and tell us what they're, what they're gonna do with this. Last point is I would imagine that this is now gonna be an expectation going forward, similar to what we have for chapter 90. So if that's mm -hmm. the case, mm -hmm. then I think we need to get a, a clear path from the DPW superintendent Especially when it comes to budget time, which we don't, we and and just extrapolating that, if I may, Matt, uh, Mrs. Madam President, that's one of the things we don't get from the police department. For example, we get tons and tons of grant money from the police department, and that's great. I'm glad we get a lot of grant money. This and this is a huge grant, but should that not offset some of the budget? Well, should this not offset some of the? DPW budget, and perhaps there could be an allocation elsewhere. I hate to say it, but that's on you to sort of work out with the mayor and then circle back to us uh, mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. Uh, that's why you get the extra $1,000. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> it's so, great. 
Well, uh, no, I mean, obviously I'm joking, but, yeah. but it's not on you alone. But nevertheless, you, you've got to stay on, on point with this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm looking forward to having a further discussion in finance on that one. So that's that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to take up 9 and 10 as a package. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, item 9 from the Board of Fire Commission, minutes November 15th, 2023. And... Item number 10 is from the Holyoke Economic Development Industrial Corporation, uh, the minutes from October 26, 2023. Motion to reset. <coughs> Second. Second. Under discussion, do you have a question? I noticed something, I noticed something about the minutes from the Fire Commission. Uh, number three on the agenda, the Fire Chief's report is listed but not included. Uh, it's my un understanding that it should be a separate document attached to the minutes that's submitted from the fire chief to the fire commission. Okay. So I'm wondering if it's possible to have our administrative assistant speak with the fire commission sure, yeah. and figure out how to get that attached in the future. Okay, great. Jeffrey, are you cool with that? Okay. So that works. Thank you. Um, any other discussion, questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving on to motions, orders, and resolutions. Oh, it's not a, that's not on the agenda. Oh, I don't really have a president's point of privilege, if I may, uh, to just say that um, I am, my goal is to hand out um, uh, committee assignments, uh, hopefully by next Monday. Um, so I'll be reaching out to everyone and I encourage you all to, some of you have connected with me on committees that you're interested in being on. Um, so I, I'd love to work with you on that. Um, and there's several um, uh, city council appointments on various subcommittees. Um, so I'm gonna, the list seems to keep growing. So I'm actually gonna send it out. I'm gonna have Jeffrey send it out to everyone of, of what is open um, and, and if you are someone who's already been on something and you want to stay on that um, committee, let me know, but I'll just see what the interest is from folks, um, and we'll get that out tomorrow so that you guys can let me know. Um, okay, uh, motions, orders, and resolutions. Item 11. Item 11. Um, is ordered that the City Council present a proclamation to retiring OPED Administrative Head Clerk Sharon Constantinidis for her over 20 years of service working for the city. Madam President, the um, proclamation's been done. Thank you. So we'll have them come to the next full City Council meeting? Great, is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Item 12, that the City Council present Irma Cruz a proclamation upon her retirement for 30 plus years of service to the City of Hoyoke. Motion be received, the proclamation's been done. Great, we'll make sure they're invited to the next meeting. Which is, I believe the next meeting is the 16th. Okay. Thank Just you. Just to put it into the record. Thank you. Yep. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, item number 13, a financial order filed by Councilor Jordan. Um, that there be and is hereby appropriated by transfer in the fiscal year $9,768.13 uh, from OPED contract services. Um, is there a motion? On Finance, that? please. Oh, second. second. Madam President. Yeah. Huh? Uh, no, I think we'll probably do the injured on duty tonight. Yeah. To Madam President. Councilor Devine. Um, I think if it's... Um, Okay, the number 13 is probably for um, the clerk in the OPED department who's going to be retiring. So we might want to do that tonight as well. As well. Yeah. Is there second. a second? Well, so. Shouldn't the department head, if that's the case, call us or send a memo that says what, what the facts are about this, if it was urgent? And. You know, worst comes to worst, we could take it out of committee. If there's not going to be a finance meeting between now and the next meeting, 
you know, uh, what's that would be the 16th. Uh, but maybe we will have one, hopefully. Yeah. And if that's the if that's the plan, and then uh, you know we could have it certainly back for two weeks um, to take care of this individual. I'm sure it won't be controversial, but at the other hand, we should know, you know, how it was calculated. Why is there an overage in the, in this why this line item it's coming from? You know, just the basics okay. that, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a motion. We had a motion. I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. Um, so motion was to send it to finance. Hold All on. those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Item number 14, um, another uh, uh, transfer request for $30,000 uh, from the engineer position um, uh, to professional engineering services. Yep. I'd send it to also to finance. Probably a good opportunity to get an update, Madam President. One, this is, again, probably also equally not controversial. As we know, we're using engineering contracted services right now in lieu of not having an engineer. So we're continuing to sort of refresh these dollars so we have engineering services. So probably not a problem, but a good idea might be, as usually part of these check-ins is, how are we doing? Or are we doing a search for a new engineer? How's that maybe going? Um, but I would anticipate us take, being able to take care of this pretty quickly. Second. Madam uh, President? Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, reiterate what Kevin, uh, Councilor Jordan said. It's an important position in the city. I hope that we are seeking out uh, some applications for this position. Thank you. So on the motion, uh, refer to finance. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Item number 15, this is the item that we usually... Yes, approve here. Yes. So I'll, I'll suspend the rules and to... Uh, well, yeah, to suspend the rules and pass Second. it tonight. Second. First reading. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Oh, Aye. Aye. Wait. Better, better read it first, though. Oh, yes. I'll read it again. Okay. Uh, that there... Uh, so a transfer in uh, the amount of $30,237.19 um, from sergeants and patrolmen to injured on duty. <coughs> Under discussion, Madam President? Under discussion. Yes. So um, as counselors and some of our newer members may be aware, um, this is a transfer line within the police department. I do not have the most recent count. Um, that hasn't been provided to me, but I believe it's approximately 12 uh, officers that we had on injured on duty. And so it requires a vote to go from uh, these personnel line items over to another personnel line item to pay them their injured on duty. So these are officers that have been injured in the line of duty. And uh, this is a bit of an accounting so that they're, they're not being paid out of their normal salary line, they're being paid out of this injured on duty line. So the council's been approving these, obviously with our hope that uh, long term we're gonna get a solution on what we can do to reduce workplace injuries because obviously there's a lot of expense going to injured on duty in the course of a year. Councilor Rivera. Thank you. Um, and then I, th I kind of want to expand a little bit on some of that, right? Just or maybe get some more clarification. So these, because it's two line items, it says sergeants and patrolmen. So these people that are getting paid in, uh, through injured on duty, they are either sergeants or patrolmen. That's correct, correct. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're so supposed to be taking it's usually their salary, their salary, moving it over well, here. To except pay that them. it's not taxed, right? Mm -hmm. Uh. Correct. correct. I believe that is correct. Yeah. It's tax free when it's injury right. when it goes tax free. To, mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I believe that's right. All right. Then. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You good? Okay. On the motion. Uh, pass first reading. Pass the first reading. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion Aye. pass the second reading. Second. Second. Uh, the clerk will call the roll. Jordan. Yes. McGrath Smith. Yes. Murphy Rambaletti. Yes. Ocasio. Yes. Israel Rivera? Yes. Jenny Rivera? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Aiken? Yes. Anderson Burgos? Yes. Bartley? Yes. Devine? Yes. Gibner? Yes. Graney? Yes. Unanimous vote. With that, you've passed item number 15. Um, item 16 is a financial transfer in the amount of $20,078 from 
uh, library assistant uh, to the reference library assistants. Motion to finance, please. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Um, Madam Chair. Yes. I would like to entertain a motion to take up items 17, 18, and 21 to send to public safety. Second. 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 The package. Motion to take items 17, 18, and 20 as a package and 21. send to... 21. 21. Oh, sorry. 21. Sorry. And send to public safety. Yep. As a package. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. I think we're supposed to read the orders. Out. Um, you're absolutely right. Thank you. The people at home that are one. Well. That's right. Um, order that the Board of Health, so item number 17 is, order that the Board of Health and Tapestry representatives come into public safety and discuss the importance of Narcan. Uh, 18 is order that the Honorable City Council request the Chief of Police come into public safety to discuss the potential development of a traffic division solely focused on mitigating traffic issues throughout the City of Holyoke. Item number 19. 21. Nope, 21 is the order that the Honorable City Council requests the officers working at the Holy Police Department's Community Service Center that could be found at 208 Ray Street in the Steam Building come into public safety and discuss what the initiative has been up to and what plans they have to strategically work on filling in the gaps where service providers are not able to present. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, item 19 order that the Hoyle Police Department come into finance and elaborate on what is done with money that is seized or forfeited due to arrests or drug busts. We receive and sent to finance. Second. For a second. All those in favor? Aye. Any, okay. Uh, item 20, um, filed by Council Rivera, order that the Honorable City Council place a temporary moratorium on cannabis retail business until the footprint of where this industry can be located within the city of Holyoke, I believe it is prudent that we put a temporary halt on permitting new business. Ordinance. ordinance. Motion is sent to ordinance. There's a second. 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 All those in favor? Excuse Aye. me. Aye. Oh, I'm Madam, sorry. Under discussion. Um, with a copy to um, office and planning. Okay. okay. A copy to planning. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Skip over 21. Item 22. Uh, filed by Council Rivera, order that the Honorable City Council request that the Mayor, Department of Public Works, and the Parking Advisory Committee at the Public Safety Committee to discuss the possibility of making parking enforcement a subdivision of the traffic division. Public um, yeah, so the only reason why I didn't incorporate this one in the other package is because I kind of wanted to go to public safety and ordinance so that they're doing two things at the same time. Okay, so motion to send... Uh, to public, yeah, safety public safety with a copy, copy to ordinance. To ordinance yeah. Okay. Is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Item 23, filed by Councilor Rivera. Councilor Rivera got the memo about the early deadline, I think. <laughs> Uh, order that the Honorable City Council work with the Law Department on identifying the criteria for the expenditure of community impact funding. It has been brought to my attention that at least one of the cannabis companies will soon be seeking a refund. How are we protected against this? And how have we spent money as of now? To finance. Send and a copy to planning. Send to finance with a copy to planning. And a copy to the law department. And a copy to the law department. I'd, like to know, I'd be interested. We actually discussed that. I know you and I. <laughs> I remember that. that. I do. Uh, <laughs> be interested to get the details behind that. I'll yeah. have to exchange notes with I Council told you. I'm, try, I'm trying to turn a new leaf. All right. No, <laughs> Literally. Right? Look at us, guys. Look at us. <laughs> so that's sent to finance. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. The um, there's a late file. Late file. Just this one, right? Yes. Um, filed by Councilor Givner. Uh, ordered that the City Council make a rule change to be added to meeting section of our first meeting. Um, that regular city regular meetings of the city council shall be held on the first and third Tuesday of each month at seven o'clock p.m. sharp. All city councilors are to be in the council chambers or present by remote access by six forty-five p.m. B. No meeting of the city council shall go beyond ten p.m. Eastern Standard Time unless, upon a motion of any city councilor, the meeting is extended for a period of time stated in the motion, and so long as the motion is unanimously approved by all members present. 
If a motion to extend the meeting past 10 p.m. is not approved, all remaining items shall be continued until the next regularly scheduled city council meeting. Mm -hmm. If items are continued to the next meeting pursuant to this rule, those items shall appear at the beginning of the next agenda. Uh, B, the president and or committee chairs can cancel meetings due to inclement weather. Refer to charter and to charter and rules. Uh, I There's just a, I just have a point yeah. of order. Yes, councilor. It, yeah, okay, so we, and so generally late files has been well thought of tradition that late files are for emergency purposes, not because we couldn't get it in on time. So it should be for, really for should be an exigent circumstance. So I'm, I, really it's up to you, the, the, the chair of the committee to kind of police that. But that, that has always been the way we did it. Yeah, totally understood. So going forward, I'll yeah, just yeah. remind everyone to make sure to so, keep in mind that. And, and the, the purpose of that is so that we can see the written orders in front of us before you know we just we have nothing in front of us so right that's the only reason thank you okay no problem uh councillor vacant and then councillor jordan and also additional point of order i believe we have it in our rules that when we accept a late file that was not printed on the agenda that it the next agenda it is to be printed on it we had one from our last meeting that wasn't on the agenda and now tonight we have this one so gotcha just thank okay. you okay yep Councilor Jardine. Without objection, could I be added as a co-sponsor? Yeah, sure. Councilor Gibner. Madam Great. Chair, I'd like as a to be a, uh, uh, added to that as a co-sponsor too, especially that seven o'clock start. Yes. I have a panel, Mike, and mark of that. So we'll add Councilor Graney and Councilor Jordan. Um, send to charter and rules. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.